lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a what I got for Christmas video because these are really prevalent on YouTube at the moment and I thought it was really cute, I really liked the idea and I actually got some things for Christmas that I had never seen or heard of before. Not the things themselves but the brands and I thought you guys might be interested because they are so 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 me and very relevant to this channel and what I'm all about on here because uh, Val and his family like got spot on presents this year. They really know it. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, can I just say um, how adorable is the Amazon packaging this year? I've noticed a couple of other YouTubers unboxing or showing some of their presents that they got in Amazon bags as well. And I just, yeah, I think they did a really good job. So Val got his presents for me in Amazon bags because he ordered them from Amazon. And I just, when I saw them on Christmas, I was just like, I love the packaging. The packaging was almost enough on its own. <laughs> Start off in no particular order. I'll open up my Amazon gift bag because I've kind of put most of my presents in here. First and foremost from Val's brother. Val and I got the same gift from him. It's a Cultura gift card, which is kind of like an all round, more kind of homeware store here in France. So that's pretty cool considering that we're apartment hunting at the moment. So that can come in very handy and very soon. Thank you, Tibble. Then actually I'll show you this next. So Val's dad, knows that I like doing sport, that strange dress position that I have of loving sport and then very girly things like doing my hair on the nails. But um, yes, he got me an Adidas, like silky sweat wicking t-shirt in black. Um, it's got like the ventilated back and stuff on it. You can see that like an Adidas logo here. Very cute. And um, yeah, the panel goes all the way down the back so that I can stay cool. And yeah, I just think it's quite cute. I have to get some uh, some more sports gear so that the rest of my sports gear matches how nice this is. <laughs> and Val's mum got us, both of us, a combined gift. So they gave us a couple hundred euros each to do something fun in the UK um, or possibly here because we are going to the south of France with some very good friends of mine in March. So maybe we'll hang on to those so that we're not losing money in the exchange rate. But anyway, they gave us a couple hundred pounds, a couple hundred euros each and tickets to the West End show of our choice. So that was really lovely. Thank you, Bernadette. We're very excited and we're thinking maybe The Lion King. If you guys have any suggestions of shows that are currently on the West End that we need to go and see, keeping in mind, I recently saw Mamma Mia. So seeing that, what should we see? I'd love to hear your comments below. Okay, now I have to give kudos to Val for being A, incredibly sneaky, knowing me very, very well, and really nailing the vegan and vintage gifts. Like, seriously, I'm so impressed. No, I don't think like, I, no one except my mum has given me like such spot on presents. And you'll see. <laughs> so again, this little cute little Amazon bag. <laughs> so, I'm hoping you can see this, but it is Luvia vegan lipstick made in Italy. And it is the most beautiful color. I'm actually wearing it right now. So it's this color here, or like a really, really classic red. It is a creamy lipstick, but that's actually more authentic than a matte lipstick. And obviously my lips are a lot softer. Usually my lips crack quite a lot with my liquid lipsticks, even though I love them because I like long wear and I never retouch them, particularly as I wear red lipstick sometimes at work. Just doesn't happen, the retouching does not happen. So I tend to wear that. But if I wanna just wear something that's really nice and wearable, I tend to wear just a normal lipstick. And the thing I love about this is the packaging. Look how vintage it looks. It is so, so super cute. Like these gorgeous gold packaging, very retro. The top even has like a little logo on it. And yeah, it is just such a beautiful, classic lipstick. <laughs> I've already worn it like three days in a row, but yes. But I really nailed that. And I was so impressed that you got an entirely vegan gift from a company I had never heard of before. And I'm like continually researching vegan vintage style companies. Nice work, babe. <laughs> then he also got me in this giant Amazon bag. Ta -da -da -da. This, which at first I had no idea what it was. 
but it says Mireille Beauty. It is a company that specializes in cruelty-free makeup brushes. Again, I had never heard of them. So well done Val, well done. Also, I'm not sure how Val knew that I needed A, better and B, new makeup brushes. I was gifted by my lovely friend Sarah, who you've seen on this channel, I was gifted some Arbonne brushes quite a few years ago now um, from her when she was an Arbonne representative and I've loved and used those brushes to death. But for this YouTube channel, I need like an upgrade. For my everyday makeup, they were more than fine and they were a big step up from what I was using before, which is basically my fingers. And like one or two brushes for eyeshadow. So yes, they were a big step up from there. But for doing much more defined and painterly kind of makeup for shows and for certain looks that people are requesting, I needed a better set and a new set because those ones I've been using to death for like four years now, it's really scary. This kit comes with foundation blending sponge, which I haven't opened yet because I've been using the foundation kabuki brush, because I've never used that before and I'm actually really loving the finish of that, so yeah. <laughs> comes with a silicon brush cleaner, which I've already used, these brushes have already been christened twice now. So they're not clean, I apologize. I did wash them after the first time, and they were wet, and then I couldn't shoot because I wanted to actually show you the brushes and they were soggy and wet. So this time I used them but didn't clean them. So they come in this beautiful faux leather carry case with little clip studs to open it up. And then, ta-da, the set is massive and it comes with so many. My favorite so far is the Kabuki brush and these are so soft. They're such beautiful brushes. The quality is amazing and they're in rose gold like. And it has written on them what the brush is for as well. So if you're a bit of a noob to this whole makeup thing and you score yourself some of these or you're gifted some by an amazing boyfriend, then you know what to use them for. And that, of course, a large powder brush an angled blush brush, a contour and highlight brush, a round concealer brush, a soft focus concealer brush, which I found really good for under my eyes, especially seeing as I have quite a glossy, creamy concealer, like quite a thick texture, the one from Tarte. So I found that this applies well. I mean, it has great coverage, but I do find sometimes it's a bit uneven and sticky, so the brush worked really, really well. Then there is a large eyeshadow brush, an angled eyeshadow brush, a precise eyeshadow brush with a stiffer bristles to it, so you can get right into the crease, a soft focus blending brush, a spoolie with an angled brush on the other end, a, I actually don't know what this one is, oh, a pencil brush, there you go. I guess if I'm wanting to do something painterly or maybe do, liquid eyeliner or cream eyeshadow looks, maybe for 60s looks, could be really good. And a liner pencil, an eyeliner pencil. And having used them just in the last two days to do my makeup, the quality of the brushes and the ease with which you can use them is a massive difference. I've always kind of thought it was a bit of a cheat, these expensive brushes, but I can really see the difference. <laughs> but it goes to show that you can have top quality makeup brushes and you don't have to have ones with animal fur or hair in them. So these guys are amazing. I highly recommend checking them out and they do just specialize in brushes. They don't do anything else at the moment. So that's really cool. It is really their niche. And that is it. They're the gifts that I got for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed finding out what I got. I hope maybe that it's been a bit of an inspiration for you guys, especially with the lipstick and the brushes. I think that was like super relevant to this channel. Just like so impressed with Val. He was so sneaky. Apparently he looked through my makeup collection when I was at work to work out what I needed and then like secretly shopped for it and ordered it and had it delivered here in France. So like, Oh my god. Cheeky man. Anyway, thanks for watching this video guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell so you know when my videos come out. They're usually out somewhere between Wednesday and Saturday. When I'm here in France, it's whenever they upload because the internet connection is so slow. 
So right now I'm uploading one that I started uploading two days ago. So eventually you will get it. And for any of you that want to come and join the Vintage Tips and Tricks Facebook group, please come and say hello. Make sure you answer the questions to join the group. We have had a couple of creepy people try to join and we have had a couple of like troll accounts. So I am really strict about people answering the questions. So if I haven't accepted you, it's because you haven't answered the questions. Just make sure you quickly answer them, even if it's only a couple of words and I will get you on into the group. Thanks for watching lovelies and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.